Hey everybody, Sharon here from GimmeEck.com. Here we are today back in the Alan Wake DLC for Dead by Daylight going for the Shine On achievement. This is to flashlight stun a killer 30 times. This one's going to be done from the survivor side. You can get this done with any survivor, so no purchase necessary. I am going to recommend that you use survivors who you have a surplus of flashlights on. So make sure you check everyone's inventory and then hopefully you have someone who has a bunch of flashlights on them. Of course, you get flashlights through the blood web, so you're more likely to have a ton of flashlights on characters you have used more frequently than others. Of course, you're not limited to just using one character for this achievement as it is going to be cumulative. So if you have many flashlights across multiple characters, you can swap out as you are progressing through this. Now, besides leveling up the blood web, you can also try to find flashlights during the game. If you do plan on going this route, I am going to recommend you run some treasure sniffing perks like Plunderer's Instinct, for example. So now that we got our basic loadout out of the way, we're going to explain what a flashlight stun is. Whenever you have a flashlight in your hands, if you approach the killer, what you can do is you can use it to stun them. The way this is going to be accomplished is you're going to want to hold right trigger to shine the flashlight. You're going to want to aim the beam of light into the killer's eyes. And if you can get the spot right and then hold it there for a set amount of time, you should get the stun, which is going to blind them temporarily. Now, you're definitely going to need to time things as the killer can very easily avoid this just by looking away. So you know you've gotten the stun off as soon as the beam of light flashes bigger and you get the killer blind notification in the upper right of the screen. So just like any other item in the game, the flashlight is going to have a limited amount of uses on it. And as soon as you deplete its batteries, you're going to need to grab a new one. Now, unfortunately, you can only take one flashlight with you into every game. So in order to get additional ones, you can try to have teammates drop you theirs, or you can try to pull one randomly from a chest. Chests are going to have about a 16% chance of containing a flashlight. So do take advantage of the treasure sniffing perks such as Plunderer's Instinct that help you find these chests way easier. That being said, you are probably only going to have one flashlight per game to work with for the bulk of the achievement. This one can be a bit of a grind, as most killers are definitely not going to just stand still, so you can try to blind them the whole time. So you are going to need a little bit of strategy in order to get this done efficiently. The best time to go for flashlight stuns is going to be when the killer is forced to stand still. And the best way to get them to stand still is to pressure them into chases where you end up dropping the pallet on them. While they are pallet stunned, you can quickly take that moment to shine the flashlight in their eyes to get a stun off. Now, if you're having trouble with the timing on that, what you can also do is you can try to get the killer to break the pallet. Whenever a killer is in the middle of the pallet breaking animation, they're basically going to be forced to look ahead in one direction, and they're going to be locked to this direction. So that's going to be an easy opportunity to try to get a flashlight stun off where they aren't going to be able to look away. Now, if you're having trouble with the aim, I am going to recommend that you crouch before shining the flashlight. Most killers are going to be taller than all of the survivors, so that's going to give you an easier angle of aiming upward. Remember, your goal is to shine the flashlight into their eyes, so you're going to want to try to aim for the general head area in order to get the aim correct. Once you finally get a handle on how the timing and the aim of the flashlight works, you should be able to get to every pallet. What you want to do is want to make sure you get into a chase, try to bait the killer into a loop, drop the pallet on them. Once they get pallet stun, make sure you get a quick flashlight stun off, then try to get them to break the pallet. And as they are in the middle of the pallet breaking animation, you can get a second one off. As they're trying to regroup, just make sure you get to the next loop and then just keep doing the same thing until your flashlight runs out of batteries. Then either try to get a new flashlight or just make sure you get to the next game and just keep this up until you get your achievement. This one is going to be pretty grindy. Thankfully, it is going to be cumulative and does track over multiple games. So make sure you are in it for the long haul. But of course, the more time you put into this, the more experience you can get and the better your timing can be with the flashlight stuns. So here we are several games later getting our 30th and final one. Once we bank up all 30, we should be good for the achievement then and there. There it is. This one's going to be for 10 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.